The mere sending of a letter from Roy Cohn has saved us a lot of money, says builder Donald Trump. When people know that Roy is involved, they'd rather not get involved in the lawsuits and everything else that's involved. Publishers, TV networks, editors are accustomed to receiving preemptory phone calls or threatening letters from Cohn and cringe at the court costs of taking him on. A young Donald Trump received several deferments that could have allowed him to avoid service in Vietnam, contrasting claims he later made that he missed the draft solely because he had a high lottery number. According to the records obtained by a Freedom of Information Act request, Trump received four student deferments between 1964 and 1968 while in college and an additional medical deferment after graduating. Trump received his first two student deferments while enrolled at Fordham University in New York City in June 1964 and December 1965. He was classified available for service, Class 1A, in November 1966. But just three weeks later, in December 1966, he was given a new student deferment. He transferred to Wharton as a sophomore that year and received another two 2 West deferments in December 1966 and January 1968 during his last year of college. In October 1968, he was declared medically unfit to serve except in time of national emergency, even though he had been declared fit to serve in 1966. Trump graduated from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School in 1968. Upon graduation, Trump, the son of a wealthy New York City real estate developer, was no longer eligible for student deferments. Trump, who has hinted at a possible run for the White House, told WNYW, the New York Fox affiliate, that he was lucky to avoid the draft and remembered the lottery taking place while he was a student at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School. Lottery numbers ranged from 1 to 365 and were allotted according to birth dates. Trump's number was a very high 356. I was going to the Wharton School of Finance and I was watching as they did the draft numbers and I got a very, very high number and those numbers never got up to, Trump said. In that conversation, Trump did not mention he also received several deferments. In The Art of the Deal, Donald Trump said he first met Roy Cohn in 1973. However, Mr. Trump has testified under oath that they first met at a Manhattan restaurant in 1970. In 1972, Trump was ultimately declared ineligible for service and given a final 4F deferment. The documents do not specify the reasons Trump was given a medical deferment. Mr. Trump's draft records were finally made public the same week that President Obama released his long-form birth certificate.